want anybody else to go through this ever, ever again. Family members are demanding change as a second wrongful death lawsuit is filed in the duck boat tragedy. Today, on behalf of Angela Coleman and her mother, Belinda Tony Coleman. Now the family spoke at a news conference today in downtown Indianapolis. And tonight at 5 o'clock, our own Jenny Runovich was there. She joins us now live with their message. Jenny? Well, Andrea, yesterday we shared the legal side of this tragedy. And today, even with a second lawsuit, it was more about the loss, the personal pain for a family that's now much smaller in size, but not in strength. The extended Rose Coleman family that... The magnitude of loss for this family made stunningly clear. Everyone that lost their lives, they do have a face. The extension of who they are is represented here today. Loved ones united in seeking justice for nine members of the Rose Coleman family. Our family tree is broken. Who died on a family vacation, drowned on a duck boat in Branson. I just can't imagine, like, what they must have been thinking. <laughs> what they must have been feeling in those moments. Emotions spilled over as they announced a second $100 million lawsuit against Ripley Entertainment and others. Their attorneys called duck boats death traps. And we just want them to be held accountable for the lack of responsibility that they've shown and not take care of of the very thing that's taken our family's lives. The lawsuit claims the company put profits over people's safety by ignoring weather warnings and recommendations by the NTSB to remove canopies and make these less likely to sink. The family wants duck boats banned. I tell the duck boat industry, watch this. Look at their faces, remember their names, and understand the incredible loss. We don't want anybody, anybody to have to experience what we've been through because of the lack of responsibility. The duck boat industry doesn't seem to consider. They say they are determined to make change in honor of their loved ones. Not only was she a sister to me, but she was my friend. Family members taken too soon. We're all they have left to represent them and be a voice to say, stop this madness. Stop it. So right now we are at two lawsuits, four family members seeking a total of $200 million. More are expected in the coming days, but again, what this family really wants, no more lives lost. John. All right, thank you. Jenny Renovich reporting tonight. And a federal lawmaker is also taking steps to try to make duck boats safer. Missouri Senator Claire McCaskill plans to introduce a bill that would give the U.S. Coast Guard 180 days to come up with new rules to keep amphibious vehicles afloat during flooding. In the meantime, duck boats would either have to remove canopies or install ones that allow passengers to escape if it floods. The bill is based on NTSB recommendations after a similar duck boat accident in Arkansas in 1999.